Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about the last installment of the lemurs from the Calgary Zoo in Canada that I got commissioned for. So these are black and white rough lemurs and I'll be going through the process. So stay tuned. And just before I go on, uh, don't forget to subscribe in the button down below and leave a comment and stuff like that. It helps my channel grow and that way I can bring content to you. So I'm using uh, glass eyes for these particular dolls and I'm making my own eyes this time. So I'm using just some plain glass cabochons and I am using actually nail polish to create the eyes and some paint. So this is just black nail polish. So I'm putting on the view pool to start off with and letting it dry and then coming back with some paint. So I'm doing one set of eyes as a um, goldy green tone and then I'm doing another set of eyes as a goldy uh, orange tone. So the paint that I'm using is Lumiere paint by Jacquard and I'm just mixing in uh, two different colored paints and combining it on the Cabotron itself but I am applying the paint pretty thick just so uh, there's no see-through um, from on the back of the eye so when I cast them in the resin you can't see any of the resin behind the eye. So the other paint I'm using is the orange tone and I'm just going over the top of the uh, gold paint that I've got there. So this is what it looks like after I have cast the eyes in the resin and I have had a couple of questions how I do this and I'm kind of holding off for a Patreon reward for this or you can actually pay for the tutorial so I just need to find the time to actually do it. Uh, so I will launch a Patreon um, in I'm thinking July so uh, but I'll keep you updated if anything like that happens. So anyway, moving on, I'm going around and painting um, the eyes and the snout area in black as black and white rough lemurs are mostly black and white. Um, so it's self-explanatory, the name. Um, so I'm just going over where I want the actual black fur to be and any black tone that I want to be, just so it doesn't show through white underneath the fur when I put it on. Uh, so I'm just using some acrylic water-based paint uh, by Chromacryl and I'm doing the same deal for both of the heads. So here's what we have uh, in the process. And it's not a big deal if you get any paint on the glass eyes because it is really easy to take off. So don't be too careful about that. So I also used modified uh, hands that I originally used for, I think they were possum hands, but uh, lemurs have uh, strange little thumbs. So I decided to modify them with some epoxy sculpt and that way it dries really hard and it won't break or anything like that. And also the zoo wanted, um, didn't want it too fragile because it will be handled. So I decided to go with these hands because they're sort of solid and there's no little bits and pieces that can break off. So um, they'll be happy with that. And doing the same deal as the face and just painting uh, the resin pieces with that chrome acryl acrylic paint. And this time I'm doing it all black because the hands of the black and white rough lemur are all black too. Moving on to the fur, and it's the same nightmare fur as one of my subscribers called it, nightmare fur. It's spot on, um, but it is really, really nice fur and really, really soft. And it's nightmare fur because it's woven on the back, so each sort of strand of fur is sort of doubled up on itself rather than stuck to the backing. So um, it is a lot harder to work with and because it's so silky and slippery as well, uh, it's really hard to cut and uh, it's just very difficult to work with, but it kind of um, is worth it in the end because the fur is just absolutely amazing. So the black and white rough lemurs have a strange little coat. So I had to cut out a whole set of different patterns for the body for this particular animal. Uh, so they have um, patches of uh, black and white. So I had to actually uh, sort of redesign my pattern as it is. So I'll be cutting out little pieces like this little black piece and attaching um, some white pieces as well because there's sections of the arms and the back and um, area of the lemur that have um, patches so it needs to be cut out and sewn together in patchwork otherwise I can paint it but um, it just doesn't turn out exactly right it's it's sort of blotchy and the texture of the fur is lost and it gets a little stiff as well so I wanted to um, not have that in these dolls and keep the the texture of this fur. 
So this is the white nightmare fur I'm working with. It's a little bit longer, uh, it's a little bit softer as well, but as you can see, it's super staticky as well. But um, yeah, this is just a tad longer, which is great because the white fur on the lemurs, the real lemurs, uh, are sort of a little bit longer as well. So it just worked out really well. I'm pretty lucky that it worked out like this. So you can see I have some separate pieces for the front of the legs and separate pieces for the hind part of the, the lemur um, and it has like a little black patch in the hip area which I will then um, cut out of this white section and just hand sew it in. So you can see uh, the, the, the pieces that are coming together um, for the body so that front little black bit is sort of the chest area with the white piece on the leg and the hind area is all white and the tail itself is all black and the underbelly is also all black so the part with the hip area in that little corner of the leg has to have a little black piece as well so I'll end up cutting that out uh, using this tiny little piece here and then I will hand sew it in because I tried to sew it on the sewing machine but it was just too difficult and I wasted too much space and stuff like that so it was just easier to hand sew it uh, sometimes it's just easier to hand sew things and I was also pretty careful not to cut out too much of the section um, just because it leaves sort of kinks and stuff so I'm not a pattern whiz uh, like I know a lot of other people are and plushie makers are um, I'm still very much learning patterns and stuff uh, I know a bit it's just sort of make it up as I go but and they work out for me but this was a learning curve so as you can see I've sewn everything together using both hand sewing and the sewing machine uh, luckily, um, faux fur is pretty forgiving in terms of puckers and stuff like that. So if I was using like a plush um, mink or anything, you can see every little thing that you do, whereas faux fur is a bit more forgiving in that sense. So I'm going to flip this the right way around and then here's what we have so far and you can see what I mean by the faux fur is a bit more forgiving so you can um, tell that there's not really any puckers and when I put uh, the body together and fill it up with polyfill it fills out nicely and there's no puckers or anything at all. So the zoo also requested a sturdier armature than a wire armature so I have been using the plastic ball and socket armatures for these lemurs. Um, and people have been asking where I get them from as well so I get them from a wholesaler but I do plan on opening a shop that will uh, stock this particular armature very soon so just keep an eye out for that it's probably will launch in July sometime um, but I'll only have a small amount to begin with uh, just to see how it goes but I know it is very difficult to get but I want to make that more accessible for everybody that's making art dolls so once I've put all the armature together inside the body itself and I also have cast that armature into the resin itself so I don't have to do anything, I'll then sew up all the pieces using a ladder stitch and I will glue all the faux fur to the resin. So I had two commissions for these particular dolls, so here they both are. One has green eyes, one has orange eyes, because their eye colour varies a little bit. But I'm really, really happy the way these turned out. They turned out better than uh, all th the other two lemurs that I've done. Definitely my favourite. I kind of want to make another one to put up for sale, but we'll see how that goes. So let me know what you think down below. And don't forget to check out my Etsy shop as well. I have some little critters in there looking for some homes. I also have an Instagram and Facebook which you can check out at Creatures of Nat. And just before I go, I'll quickly go through the series of lemurs that I've had. So I'm done with this uh, lemur set. So we have the black and white ruffed lemur, we have a ringtail lemur, and we have a red fronted lemur. So these uh, will be on display for educational purposes at the Calgary Zoo. So definitely check it out if you're in Canada or visiting that zoo. So that's it for me today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did give it a thumbs up, if you have any requests you can leave it in the comments down below, and I'll catch you next time, bye!